Following tonight's game, we'll be announcing tonight's Ziegler's Trophies and Engravable Gifts player of the game. Ziegler's Trophies and Engravable Gifts in downtown Salem at 160 South Broadway. Stop in and see Tom Sue or Joanne or call them at 332-4457. Leave all the trophies, plaques, ribbons, and rosettes for anyone who deserves recognition and a new gift gallery selection with plates, coasters, and keychains and Christmas ornaments from Wendell August Forge. On second down and five, the option play to Davis. 40, 45. He's got the first down, but here's a flag. And this might be against Salem, a little clip action here. Remember, when you want to use the best, or want to recognize the best, <laughs> use the best. Uh -huh. And that is Ziegler's trophies and engravable gifts in downtown Salem. Three weeks in, he still can't read the I script. Know. Good night. Yeah. Salem leads it 7 to nothing after a 16-yard touchdown pass from Martin to Hender's shot. But uh, this fine running play is going to come back for the Quakers. Looks like Murray may have got somebody in the from behind. And another big penalty. I'll tell you what, Todd, last week the Quakers didn't have any penalties, of course, but uh, they've been bitten. They, they have the less amount of penalties than their opponents now, but they've been big ones. They've been some monster penalties. They're probably averaging about 10, 15 yards a penalty. Well, that's a 15 yard, yeah. and it, but it only moves the line of scrimmage four yards back, so basically it's second down and 10. It's a spot foul. So Salem with it at their own 33-yard line. Jones to the near side with Hendershot in the slot. Murray tight to the left. Second down, Martin drops straight back, looks downfield, pressured, runs upfield, gets to the 35 to the 40. He's going to gain seven yards. He was just able to break out of that first tackle and was able to gain positive yardage. Now third and short coming up for Salem. That's always a help. Uh, don't force it when you're a quarterback. Don't force it if everybody's covered. Last week, Marlington did a good job getting a lot of coverage sacks. That time, Martin saw nobody open. He felt the pressure, so he got out of it. And he'll make it third and two. Salem tonight, uh, two or three on these third downs. Jones near side along with McLaughlin. Potter's ship. Pitch to Davis on the option, and he's going to have to hurry. Ugh, he's going to be just shy of the first down. Good tackle made by Matt Fitch, the outside linebacker. I don't know, Todd. Oh, he got, he got it. it. He got it. Nice spot. Three yards and a cloud of them. It was close, but it wasn't even close enough for the officials to have to bring the chains all the way across the field. And I thought from the spot he got it. I think the officials just wanted to keep the game moving. Well, I had to stop the clock on the first down. Jones to the near side with Hendershot. Davis and Humphreys in the backfield. On first down and 10, it is Humphreys. Off the right side, squirts through 50. 45-yard line brought down by Foster. And another Salem first down. Wakers offensive line tonight opening some nice holes. You know, they always say it takes a couple weeks for that offensive line to gel. And the Quakers come in, you know, with a new offensive line pretty much this year. And, you know, after... After a couple weeks together, this will be the result, and that was a nice hole. Salem averaging 114 yards on the ground in two weeks. Davis up the middle. Oh, in and out of traffic, 40 to the secondary, 35, making his way forward to the 33, where he is finally brought down by Nick Brown, another Quaker first down, Eric Davis. I saw him in the uh, scrimmages this year, not knowing that much about him, but one thing I did notice, he's a slippery little back. East Liverpool calls timeout. So the Potters take a timeout. We will as well with 10.03 to play here in the first half. Salem on top 7 to nothing. You're listening to High School Football on WSOF.
there. I had to say, Gary, didn't take long because they've already run a play since we've come back, and it was a handoff to Humphreys up the middle. No gain as Jared Kinneman was right there waiting to get Humphreys second down and 10 coming up. Well, it doesn't take long to say stop him. Yeah. <laughs> Jones to the left with McLaughlin in a wing on the right, tight end Murray to the left, and they'll hand it off to Humphreys' left side. He has a hole but slips a little bit and will only gain his two yards to the 30. It was, trying to catch a number, Lutton making the tackle. It'll be third down and eight yards to go. This will be a tough one here. It's long seven, short eight. Third down and eight. We're checking in with A.J. McLeod here in some time in his second quarter. Go ahead, Gary. I was going to say, the ball's sitting on the 30, so this might, again, be two-down territory here. Hender's shot will go in motion to the left. Jones to the right. Play fake, rolling right. Martin looks downfield, and it goes to Jones in the end zone. It is intercepted. Picked off by right. Jim Stockton comes down and makes the tackle at the two-yard line. But Wright makes the interception with 8.43 to play here in the first half. Well, the ball a little underthrown, but you know, that that may not be all that bad for Salem right now. That's better than a punt had they not completed it. You know, had they had to turn the ball over on downs, the ball now sitting on the two-yard line. So if the defense can tee off and nail somebody here, Quakers should get that ball in good field position. So a little underthrown. Yeah, the Potters with their backs against the wall. They marked it at the three-yard line. They'll go to a full house backfield. And a handoff up the middle to Fitch, I believe. And it's going to be second down and about eight yards to go as Matt Fitch, a senior. Gary, this is the first year that Fitch has played high school football. New coach brings out some players. <laughs> well, I saw a new coach coming into town. He has a uh, pretty successful record there at Wellsville. You know, uh, come out for the team your senior year. Again, the full house backfield, James Conrad joins the trio, oh. and Coles will run the option to the right side, makes the pitch to Foster. Foster cuts it upfield to the 10, and it'll be brought down near the first down marker. Did I see a late flag? I think you did. Uh, did we see another face mask? It's going to be a gain of eight and a first down, and we'll have to check on the flag. Well, East Liverpool did a lot of nice things on that play. A lot of nice blocking. Close calls, too. Coles just got rid of that before he went down. And we knew he was dangerous on that waggle out there. Well, the Quakers have been flagged for their third 15-yard penalty. Another face mask. So the nine-yard run will give him a first down, and the penalty will then take the football all the way to the sale or to the East Liverpool 28-yard line with 7:43 to play here in the first half. Backfield now on first down and a delay. Foster right up the middle, 30 to the 35. Oh, breaks a tackle to the 40. Down the right sideline, midfield 45. Davis will bring him down at the Salem 38-yard line. Well, they kept handing it off to Foster, and finally he broke one after averaging maybe two yards a carry. He got through that first surge, and the speed of Eric Davis is what brought him down. Third first down of the game, a 31-yard run as they mark it back at the 41-yard line. First down and 10. Jamie Click will come to the near side with Eccles at wide receiver. And they hand it to Fitch, the fullback off the right side with room to the 35 and upended by Bourne. No, correct that. Making the tackle was Brian Fizan, but not after Fitch picks up seven or eight yards. And this is when Balderson turned it on for Marlington last week. It was in the second quarter. The Quakers have done a good job stuffing the run here up until this point. Second down and two to go for the Potters. To the near side is Jeff Wright, along with Click. And he'll give it to Foster around the right end. He's got the first down to the 30, head forward to the 25-yard line. Hender's shot, and Jones make the tackle, but another first down carry of eight yards. And remember, this drive started on the two-yard line, and we are now on the 25. And it was very much aided by that face mask penalty. 
Salem leads 7-0, 638 to play here in the first half. At our first opportunity, we will check in with A.J. McLeod of the WSOM High School Sports Studio. Click to the near side, and Eccles to the right. High backfield, and Foster right up the middle. Head forward to the 21-yard line, gain of four. Second down and six coming up for Salem. Don Wilson helping out on that tackle. To a little shorter game, it's still a nice run of four yards up the middle. You are listening to high school football on AM 600 WSOM Salem Youngstown with Gary Goddard. This is Todd Bell from Riley Stadium. Midway through the second quarter, and the Quakers lead 7-0, but the Potters are threatening as Justin Boyd goes wide to the left. Two tight ends on second and six. Foster with the pitch to the right. Up field. Oh, he's wrapped up, and now a flag. This one will be marked at the 18-yard line as the run. Let's see what the flag is going to be. Hendershot made the tackle and another penalty against oh, Salem. Man. This would have made a third down play, third and maybe four, but penalty will push it across. Did you see the indication? No, I didn't. It's another face mask. I think Coach Bora may explode. Yep. <laughs> oh, boy. So the penalty will take it to the eight. It's only going to be a 10-yard penalty because of half a distance. Tackle and lower, boys, here. Come on. So it'll be first and goal from, well, they'll call it the nine-yard line. High backfield, two tight ends. Coles hands to Foster, right side with a wall of blockers inside the five where he'll finally be brought down near the two-yard line. Darvis Foster, only 5'7", 140 and a junior. He can get lost in a pack like that. And he did that time, and uh, this, is, this has been the Darvis Foster drive. He's pretty much been the exclusive ball handler. All 98 yards of it here if they score. They've already moved in 95 down the field, aided 30 or by uh, some uh, penalties for Salem here. Second and goal from the three. Full house backfield. It's the fullback Fitch. He did not get in, but he got closer. That'll make it third and goal, and it looks like it'll be inside the one. So you know if they don't get it here, they'll be going for it. So let's give Fitch two on the carry. Here they come again. Foster, Fitch, and Conrad left to right in the backfield. Two tight ends on third and goal. Fitch again, they stood him up, but he got in. Wow. Matt Fitch, a one-yard touchdown run, and the Potters are on the scoreboard with 4.31 to go, and they'll kick the extra point. Well, that looked good for Salem. I thought they stopped him behind the line of scrimmage, but he just he spun his way in is what he did. And East Liverpool comes out trying for the tying extra point. Kicker is Brian Miller. The holder is Kinsey. Jim Jackson will snap. Kinsey is the backup quarterback, just to keep that in the back of your mind for later on. Extra point coming up. Low snap, but a good hold by Kinsey. The kick is up. It is good with 4.31 to play here in the first half. The Potters have knotted things up. Salem 70, Liverpool 7. You're listening to High School Football on WSOF. his way forward to about the 38. A 
16-yard return on the kickoff by Williams. Well, with 4.25 to go here in the second quarter, Quakers ideally would like a nice four minute and 25 second drive. Go into the locker room up by whatever and come out and get the ball to start the second half. Clock winding. Quakers go with a wide receiver left. Then the handoff to Humphreys left. Cuts up, side, up inside up the middle of the field and nowhere to go. Good defensive play made by John Freeman to cut that thing back up the middle of the field. Well, we'll have to see if that touchdown by East Liverpool fired up their defense. They've been giving up some pretty big holes to Quaker running backs in that last drive. The Quakers failed to punch it in. Basically a no gain for that for uh, Humphreys that time. Second down and 10. Jones splits to the right with McLaughlin in the slot. Davis and Humphreys in the backfield. And Martin will pitch it to the right side. Davis, he's got room again to the 40, 45 yard line. First down out of bounds at the East Liverpool 49 yard line. That fake handoff and the option to Davis has been successful tonight. And I'll tell you what, once Davis gets around Andy Dirk, number 54, yeah, the uh, defensive end, uh, that play has been made, and that time it was just seeing who was going to cut the angle first, and that time it was Davis, got around Dirk, and nice yardage. Gary Davis had 11 carries at 38 yards in the first two games tonight. He has seven carries for 51 yards. Having a good night from the East Liverpool 49. Martin, quick throw to the right, has Jones, 45. By one man to the 40, knocked out of bounds at the 39-yard line by Conrad. And it's going to be very close to a first down. Yeah, Jones gave a little stiff arm to uh, Conrad on his way around him. And it will be enough for a first down. Quakers mixing things up a little bit there, throwing on first down. That's the eighth Salem first down of the game. 3.08 to go until halftime. Now the Quakers on the East Liverpool 39. McLaughlin in the slot to the right. Jones split 10 to the right. Humphreys Davis in the backfield. First down, play fake, pitch to Davis. To the first start to the original line of scrimmage. Upfield the right sideline to the 34. Boy, Conrad had him and let him go. As we've talked about before, Gary, Davis and Fritz, the two guys who come in at fullback are small but quick and slippery. They are slippery. And uh, the East Liverpool jumping on the run up the middle, and that's what's freeing Davis outside. Quakers, as you remember, in the uh, to begin this game, just pounded it up the middle. Now they're faking somebody up the middle. The pitch is coming to the outside, and there is some running room out there. Humphreys will take it up the middle this time, and he cannot bounce it outside. He didn't have much running room, could get outside, and maybe we'll have a yard on the play. It's going to be third down and about three or four coming up. Yeah, not much of a gain that time, so it'll make it third down and three. The ball on the Liverpool 32-yard line. We're down to about 2.15 and counting here. 7-7 ball game to halftime. So it's Heath Baker bringing the troops up to the line of scrimmage on third down. They need the Liverpool 29. Jones split to the right. Martin drops back, rolls to the right. Plenty of time. Looks downfield as Jones, but overthrew him. Out of bounds. It's going to be fourth down coming up for Salem. Clock stopped at 158. Now, this is a tough call here, but the Quakers will more than likely go for it on fourth and three. 158 to go here in the second quarter, and this would be a big conversion on fourth down. Martin this season, 8 of 21, coming in for 134 yards and two interceptions. He has thrown one interception in tonight's game. Quakers one of seven on fourth down conversions this year, and that one was the touchdown tonight's game. So here we go. Third, make it fourth and three. Two wideouts to the right, Jones and Henders shot. They're going to run the option. Davis with the catch of the pitch to the 30 and dropped right there. It's going to be real close to the first down marker. I might be a little short. Darvis Foster made a great tackle. Let's see where they spot it. He had to get just past the 30, and I think he might have just reached the 30. I'm not sure. I think he got a pretty generous spot. That would be twice then. This time, though, the officials will call out for the chains. Hey, Jay McLeod, if you're hanging around the WSOM Sports Studio, what are you going to have for us coming up at halftime? Thanks, AJ, and David.
Davis had just enough for the first down, and so Salem keeps the drive alive with 152 to go, and the ball will be at the 29. Did Marco Nicotera come back? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mike Nicotera for <laughs> there we go. Letonia. Marco, the quarterback for Salem last year. Led the Quakers to a 28-7 victory. Had a couple of touchdowns in that ball game last year. But now Salem with a 7-7 ball game are trying to get the lead here before halftime. Hendershot will move right to left in motion. Martin. Play fake, comes to the right side, has all kinds of receivers, looks for Hender's shot, overthrew him, and he was interfered with. Three flags are down. Two are at the spot of the pass, and one back to the yep. line of scrimmage. We'll have to wait a while, I'm sure, to sort this mess out. I do believe there was interference in the secondary. That'll be that call, but uh, what's this up here? That's yeah, in the holding era territory. Well, Salem was not flagged for a penalty in last week's game. The only time that has happened in three years uh, we could come up with, they were penalized only once in last year's game against Poland. Well, they, These wouldn't offset, would they? I would think so. Yeah. Pass interference. An eligible downfield. There we go. Offset. So they do offset and they'll replay first down. One of them linemen got downfield a little bit. Yep. Now Martin did hold on to the ball an awful long time. He had Jones, Murray, and Ender shot all downfield in the pattern. And took a little bit too long in trying to decide which one he wanted. So it'll be first down. Clock is stopped at 136 to play here in the first half. That's the second time tonight that Todd the Quakers have thrown on first down. Jones right, McLaughlin in the slot to the right. And he'll hand it off to Humphreys up the middle. Not much room, but will get four or five across the 25 to the 24. Salem with its full complement of timeouts left. All three timeouts, they can keep the running game going here a little bit. Don't elect to call one here with 120 to go. Ball sitting on the East Liverpool 25. This drive started back at Salem's 38-yard line and has moved to the East Liverpool 24. Davis Humphreys in the backfield. Hender shot in the wing on the right with Jones split to the right. Martin will drop back to throw. Gets Humphreys out of the backfield with the catch to the 25 down the right sideline. Inside the 20 to about the 18. It's going to be enough for the first down. It will stop the clock with 58 seconds to go. Well, Humphreys did a good job bending over to catch that. It was a little low pass, but once he got it, he got a nice head of steam. And the Quakers... They're going to call timeout here anyway. All right, 58 seconds to go. Let's take a quick timeout. You're listening to High School Football on WSOM. Salem to eye it at seven with East Liverpool and a good opportunity here for the Quakers, Gary. It's first down and 10 from the East Liverpool 17, a minute to go. Now we said we wanted that four minute and 25 yard, or a second drive here for Salem. Going to the locker room with a score and they are working on that right now. Jones will split to the right with Hender's shot in the slot with Davis and Humphreys in the backfield and Murray is tight to the left. Quakers knocking on the door. Mark rolls to the right side, looks downfield, now throws, and it Ooh. is incomplete. Good. Defensive play made by Fitch looking for Humphreys out of the backfield that time. In and out of the hands of Humphreys. It was there. Martin in the ballgame, three for seven for 34 yards and a touchdown. That one to Hendershot. Clock stopped. 53 seconds to go in a tie ball game. What, the third time in a row the Quakers have thrown on first down? Short side of the field is to the right. On second down and 10, Martin straight drop back again. Looks, has Humphreys out of the backfield. 15 by one man to the 10. Fights forward to the 9, and Salem will use a timeout. 
We'll just keep it here as the clock stops with 43 seconds to go. Gary, no, I noticed the past couple of weeks when they have had the running backs out of the backfield, they've been open. To this week, they are using them, and East Liverpool is letting them run free. Well, that time, I'll tell you what, Martin did a good job faking downfield. He froze all the uh, defenders in the secondary for Liverpool. I thought that was going deep, too. And that just made uh, Humphrey's job that much easier when he caught that. Nice gain. So seven yards on the gain for Salem. It'll be third down and three coming up with the clock stopped at 43 seconds. Seconds. Don't forget, if you want to talk about tonight's football game, tune in to WSOM AM 600, the Quaker Call-In Show after tonight's game. Call 337-7764. Once again, that number, 337-7764, the Quaker Call-In Show. Until about 11 o'clock here on WSOM AM 600 after the game. And uh, that went pretty well last week. Yes, we'll have all the final score for, scores for you as well with AJ. I'd like to thank uh, GD, too, whoever that is. <laughs> He said he wasn't related to either of us, yeah, but uh, nice, nice compliment. We'll take that. Gary will also talk with Coach Boren following tonight's game. So third down and short coming up for Salem. Need the eight-yard line. It is Humphreys to the – nope, Davis with the pitch again to the five. It's got the first down to the four-yard line. And it looks like Salem wants to use a timeout again as the clock stops with 34 seconds to go. We'll just keep it here again. They can run the out. They cannot stop that play. No, they can. Davis getting some nice yards due to that, too. Humphreys would have got it, too, had they given the ball to him. There was nobody in his face. He dove forward. He would have had the first down. But the Quakers now first and goal on the four. And with 38 seconds to go, they've left them. Well, this is going to be interesting. They have no more timeouts. So if they run it in, they, they run it. They better get it in. Coaching uh, staff out to talk. Looks like Coach Janafe has snuck into the huddle to talk to the crew. And well, as you mentioned, uh, depending on what they call here, they may right. have to call two plays. If they go, you know, they can always run it wide. That pitch again to Davis has been, you know, along the sidelines. They can run out of bounds, stop the clock that way. So Salem looking to take the lead before halftime. Jones right, McLaughlin in the wing, Davis Humphreys in the backfield. Salem fans in front of us rooting their Quakers on. Mark on first down, gives it to Hump. Nope, they pitch it to Davis again to the outside. Touchdown, Quakers! Eric Davis, four-yard touchdown run as they run the option again. And again, East Liverpool did not stop it. And the Quakers are back in the lead. Boy, in that time, the pitch had to go over a Salem blocker and somebody running for the quarterback from East Liverpool. Todd McLaughlin okay. made the block that sprung Eric Davis on that play in from his wingback position. Jones also helping out wide receiver to the right, making a good block. That was a high pitch, too. Boy, just perfect execution. So the Quakers to attempt the extra point. Good snap, Angelo's hold, the kick is up. It is good, 33 seconds to go until halftime. Quakers lead it 14 to seven. You're listening to High School Football on WSOM. will be set to kick it off. Right Foster Eccles are back deep to receive it. Harshman with the kick. It'll be taken by Foster at his own 17-yard line. 25. Looking for a hole. 30. And the Quakers bring him down at about the 34-yard line. That kickoff worried me because if East Liverpool had decent field position on that return, they might have elected to go for it. Now with 26 seconds to go. And the ball on their own 35. Might be less inclined to try some. 
Potters still have two timeouts. Coles, we saw in warm-ups, has a good arm, yeah, but the clock has already started. So East Liverpool may be tent to just sit on it right here and go to the locker room down by a touchdown. Eccles to the near side and Boyd to the right. Coles, play fake, rolls near side, looks downfield. Eccles is wide open, He's but back. Coles is past the line of scrimmage. Bizon or no, make it. Davis makes the tackle, and that does it for the first half of play. Yeah, I wasn't concerned with the open wide receiver once I saw he cross that line of scrimmage. Woo. So, gain of two for Coles on the run, and the first half comes to a close. Well, Gary, the Quakers. Good first half, up 14 to 7 as they go into the locker room. That's just what the doctor ordered. A nice drive right before halftime, take the lead. Now the Quakers will get the ball to start off the second half, and if they can score there, all the more confidence, too, for the Salem Quakers. Nice, nice quarter, or nice.